Hello, praying all is well, praying that everybody day has been blessed so far and will continue to be giving God the praise and glory for all that he has done and all that he will do. Today's topic is your cup is being filled. Your cup is being filled, thus says the Lord. But before I get into this message, y'all, allow me to pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for this day, Lord God, for giving us another chance to, Lord God, get it right with you. So, Father God, we repent for all ungodliness that we may have done for the known and unknown sins, Father God. And so, Lord God, I ask on this day that you continue to, Lord God, instruct us and guide us in the way that we should go. But, Lord God, help us, Lord God, to look around and see what it is that you have already given us that we can use, Lord God, to fulfill the things that you have promised us. And so, Lord God, I ask that you continue making a way. Give us the right mindset to have, Lord God, the right thoughts, Lord God, so that we can continue moving forward in the things which you are calling us to do, Lord God. And I ask that you continue to, Lord God, send forth the resources that we need, Lord God, that will not reject us, but Lord God, accept us into all that you are calling us to in Jesus' mighty name. But Lord God, I ask that you remove anything in our life that's keeping us bound, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to walk a straight path and continue, Lord God, in you as you have called us to. And so, Father God, as I decrease, you increase in me, speak fully through me, so the people of God may hear from you and not from myself. None of me, but all of you, Lord. Place your words in my mouth in Jesus' name. And I decree and declare that's done. You all, your cup is being filled. Um, night for last, I was studying in the book of Second Kings. And so I ran against uh, the scripture where it was talking about the lady, uh, the widow lady who needed to pay her debts off. But her husband had died and she had no money. And so Elisha was the one that she went to because this was just after Elisha got a double portion of Elijah's anointing, right? And so everybody knew that Elisha can perform the same miracles that Elijah did. And so she went to Elisha and asked Elijah, you know, to help her out because she needed to pay this debt off, debt off and her husband had passed on and she had no means of making money. So Elijah told her, he said to go and ask your neighbors for vessels and then come back to me. And so when the woman went and she asked um, the neighbors for vessels and stuff, everybody gave her vessels. And so she brought up to her home and went back to Elisha and let him know that she had the vessels. And so the little oil that she had, Elisha told her to use that to fill the vessel. So Elijah multiplied what she had in order for her to fill the vessels which she had. And she kept telling her son, you know, bring me another vessel. And to the point to where she, it was so many vessels or more, so much oil that she ran out of vessels and she had more oil and so Elisha told her to use that for her and her sons and keep whatever it is for her and her sons that were left over so I want to bring to somebody's attention that sometimes when we need something from God he will tell us to put in some type of work. He will ask, tell us to ask other people for things that we may need. And we know that God is well and able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we may ask or think. And we know that God can perform a miracle just like that. But God sometimes will use us as vessels to go get what it is that we need. So I want to encourage somebody to open up your mouth and tell somebody what it is you need. Go ask somebody. And the enemy always try to use this scripture. I've never seen the right is forsaken nor his seed begging bread you're not begging nobody for anything because if god gave somebody overflow flow in something it was always meant to be yours in a way it, god ain't giving people overflow just so they can keep it amen god gives us over, overflow in order to share with others so i want to encourage somebody to go ask for what it is that you need even though god has told you to do it and he haven't made it clear exactly what you're supposed to do, you're going to have to open up your mouth and ask for what it is that you need. Amen. And God said you're going to end up with more than what you asked him for or what you was needing just because you obeyed, just because you had the faith that God will show up in whatever it is that you was doing. Amen. Whatever it is that you was needing, God going to show up and multiply it. Amen. And another thing that the Lord pointed out to me in that scripture or in that chapter of the book is that Naaman had leprosy and he needed to be be healed and so he went to Elisha and Elisha told him you know go dip in the Jordan seven times and you will be healed but Naaman didn't want to dip in the Jordan he got frustrated he was like really irritated with Elisha because he knew that Elisha was capable of just you know 
waving something over him and he healing the leprosy right so he had an attitude he was like why i got to go dip in the jordan seven times ain't damascus better than this and i want to stop right there because anytime that god tell us to do something y'all we always try to figure out the best way to do things or the quickest way to do things and it's not always going to end up that way and so after elisha had told him to go dip in the jordan seven times naaman went on and uh dipped in the jordan after somebody you know talked to him was like man if he had told you to do something great you wouldn't have been arguing you know just paraphrasing you wouldn't have been arguing or had you know no back talk or you wouldn't have been trying to you know complain about what it is he told you to do if it was something great right so naaman went on he dipped in the jordan seven times and this is what the lord pointed out to me in that naaman um could have took advantage or misused the gift that elisha had if he had to just wave you know his hand over him and hear the leprosy but with him going to the jordan and dipping in it seven times you know in order to cleanse he had to put in work and whatever a name and did to end up getting the leprosy he won't be so quick to do it the next time another thing that the lord pointed out to me is that you know naming um naming had to put in some type of work because if he didn't put in the work, he would, uh, you know, just abuse, just abusing things. And so God is just saying, you know, if he asking you to put in the work, you don't want to get the blessing in the end. Right. And so it don't benefit God none whatsoever by you being prosperous or successful or healed or anything like that. So whatever it is that God is asking you to do, you're going to have to put in the work to get it done. And God also is testing to see if you have the faith to go and do what it is that he's asking you to do. God going to bless it regardless. Amen. And so Naaman ended up getting healed or whatever. But this is what um, the Lord was talking to me out through the week and stuff like that, showing me things. It was like three people that I had to talk to. And I was telling them, you know, I don't know why God is relocating me. I don't know where, why I'm going where I'm going. And so God showed me a dream on last night to where I was standing in front of this house. And in this house, um, it was a big old large mug, looked like a big old cup, like a mug cup was right beside me right and the holy spirit said i'm filling up your cup and so he started pouring into the cup and so i walked and i went to have a conversation with one of my sisters and when i walked the cup the cup followed me right and it was study being filled by the holy spirit and then i left there from with my sister went to another house and in that house the cup was still being filled and i left there and went to the school and the cup was still being filled everywhere i went this cup went and it was being filled next thing i know it was another big cup came and you know touched with my cup or whatever and the the way my cup was being overfilled it was flowing into the another cup and the holy spirit was also pouring into the other cup and then y'all it got to the point where the other cup was starting to overflow and i was so excited because both cups was overflowing at this point it was like it's overflowing it's overflowing i was just filled with joy to know that it's going to be an overflow so i want to tell somebody that whatever god is asking you to do go ahead and do it because god is over filling your cup he's causing your cup to overflow to where it'll overflow and somebody else this cup and then when that uh cup get filled god said that you know both cups gonna overflow so god is just putting you in a season of overflow so whatever it is that god is asking you to do you're gonna be in overflow all you need to do is by any means necessary do what it is and get it done that god is asking you to do amen because your cup is being overfilled amen you will be living in overflow thus says the lord and at the right now the lord is reminding me like you know you may be thinking you don't have a lot right now you may have nothing empty you may be feeling like your cup is empty you don't have enough to share with nobody but god is saying he's filling your cup amen and when he fills your cup it's gonna overflow into another person's cup so i'm believing somebody's about to get married or god is connecting you to people who look like they need help who look like they need their cup filled amen and god is gonna use you to help them amen while god is helping them as well but god is also bringing resources to where you know there's going to be connections to where it's purpose in it whatever god is whoever god is trying to connect you to is purpose and whatever it is that you know he's doing so i want to suggest you by any means necessary get to where god is telling you to get to or do whatever it is that god is having to, you to do because god is filling your cup amen and god knows better than you so you're gonna have to stop thinking or overthinking the situation and just act on what god is telling you and by any means necessary get the job done the other day i was in the kitchen 
and I was looking for a spray to because it was a fly in the house and I, I have some spray instead of having a fly swat I just sprayed a fly and he died or whatever but I was looking for the spray and I didn't see it I know I usually keep it in this one spot and I didn't see it so God told me to stay right there and look again so I stopped and I just started looking up and down you know real careful and looking for it and then boom it was right in my face y'all and God said if it was a snake it would have bit you you know that little saying everybody be saying you know if it was a snake it would have bit you so I'm telling somebody you know to slow down and really evaluate your situation and the things that you're looking for is right in your face the answers that you're looking for is right in your face all you need to do is go ask God like God what is it that I need to do what is it that I'm missing you just gonna have to look again child because god said that the answer is right there for you seek and you shall find thus says the lord so get the seeking reevaluate some things amen and just really pay attention and focus to what it is that you're looking for and the answer is right there in your face amen and so while i was studying the other night god had um had me to write these things down and it says life is in god your life is in god's hands there is no formula to follow for resurrection. God is not bound to follow any certain procedures or respond to incantations. Instead, he heals who he wills and in what way he wills to heal them. So whatever it is that you may be going through it right now, there is no certain things that you need to do in order to receive God's blessing, to receive your miracle, to receive your healing. There's no certain, you know, procedure that you need to follow because God is going to heal you when he want to heal you. God is going to bless you when he want to bless you. So there's no certain rule or regulation that you have to follow. And you may be thinking something is wrong with you. Like, God, why am I not blessed? Why have I not, you know, did certain things in life? And God, is saying it's not nothing wrong with you but it's something wrong with your environment i remember seeing a quote to where it said that you know um if the flower is not blossoming blossoming you change the environment to which the flower is in not the flower so i want to encourage you leaders or supervisors or if y'all got any people working for y'all and it seemed like they just can't get on one accord they just can't get right maybe you should change the environment what it is that you're doing or how the company is running or whatever it is change the environment of which the flower in and the flower will blossom thus says the lord but god wants somebody to know that it's nothing wrong with you it is nothing at all wrong with you amen there's something wrong with the environment so if god is telling you to relocate child just relocate amen so that you can start blossoming wherever god has told you to go and i wrote this down i wrote this down i said that we will not always agree with what god is telling us to do we always try to make sense of everything but god will make don't make sense to us make perfect sense to god and it says we always be thinking we know better than god when we don't so you just need to follow the instructions and watch your life end up the exact way that god has been showing you and telling you that it's going to end up amen and god is saying he's using you to be a light to other people other people will see the way god is using you whether whether you have started from nothing and God blessed your life, whether it's a word that God had put in you that you're supposed to share with somebody else to uh, convert them to him. Amen. So God is saying he's going to bless your life in order for you to bless somebody else's just by your lifestyle. Amen. So whoever you are, I'm encouraging you and urging you to get up and do what it is that God is asking you to do. Amen. No matter if you have to ask for help or whatever it is, God going to give you the right people to ask and he going to give you the right resources. Amen. And God and saying in this moment that you're gonna have exactly what you need when you need it it was some things that i was needing and i didn't see it at first and i didn't know it was there but then when i the exact moment that i needed that's when it appeared that's when it showed up and god wants you to know it's gonna happen right when it's supposed to happen and you're gonna receive all that you're supposed to receive the exact moment you're supposed to receive it no matter where you go or who you around it's going to happen, amen. God just needs you to have faith and to believe, amen, and to put some action into that faith and to that belief, amen, because the more faith and the more belief you have in God, the more action you will put behind what it is that you're doing, amen, what it is that God is asking you to do. So I don't care by any means necessary. Get up and do what it is that God is asking you to do with whatever it is that you have, amen, even if it's only your faith that you have at the moment. Use your faith to get up and move and to get up and relocate or get up and get a job or get up and go to school get up and do whatever it is that you know that god is telling you to do because it ain't no if ands or buts about it god done showed you uh, on several different occasions that this is what you're supposed to do amen so you just gonna have to get up and do it amen because god said he's filling your cup 
your cup is being filled. It may be feeling like your cup have nothing in it at the moment, but God said he's going to overflow your cup, amen, and then he's going to send somebody in your life into where whatever you have that's overflowing in it going to pour into their cup while the Holy Spirit study pouring into them. I don't know if it's a prayer partner that God is sending forth. I don't know if you're about to get married. I don't know if it's a teams, you know, that, that's on your job. Whatever it is, God said he's sending forth the people that you need that you're going to pour into and they also going to be able to be a help to you later on amen to where y'all cup is both overflowing and i just have to say you know i don't receive you know a friend a sister in christ you know i don't know how far she is from me but she is a distant sister in christ right now i got a prayer partner that i can call and pray with you know so therefore god is you know connecting purpose in this season you just have to be obedient it's going to require your obedience, amen. And so you all, I just want to encourage you to get up and do what God is telling you to do and stop second guessing and stop changing your mind about it and just know that you're going to have to get up and go and get up and do something, put in some type of work because God is going to use what you have and he's going to multiply it, amen, to where it start overflowing in Jesus' name. He's filling your cup. Well, you all, that's all the word that I have for you all uh, today. Take this word back to God and make sure that it was for you, amen, because, you know, God do give me messages like 20 years early sometimes and I give the word or whatever when he ever he tell me to so just know that, that your cup is being filled and whatever you go God gonna continue to pour into you amen to where it starts to overflow into others amen and God is just using you as a point of contact to convert people to him in Jesus name and so um yeah remember that the Lord loves you all and so do I God bless